Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out a beautiful, real deal 1966 GTO convertible. It's not too often that we get one of these in our inventory. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of people clone GTO convertibles, but uh, you don't often see the real deal. This is a, got a tri-power on it, 389. Really nice paint. A nice car, carries good oil pressure too. So many times our Pontiacs, when they warm up, they just don't. This car's got a fantastic stance too. I just watched you go up and down the road with it. Yeah. And it looks so good going down the road. The only thing we got left is I'm gonna have Pat when he comes on Wednesday, just tweak those that tri-power a little bit. It's got just a little hesitation, but it drives perfect. It does, it drives perfect. Tight, nice GTO. Engine bay looks great. Idles nice. It really does. Um, does have power steering, it's got power brakes. And I Go love that, and that GTO hood, you know? They're, exactly. they're just kind of iconic. And, and as I said to start the video, you don't see a whole lot of GTO convertibles. I can only remember a couple that we've had since I've been here. Not to interrupt you, D, but they did a really nice job when they painted it. You can tell things are, you know what I mean? They did a nice mm -hmm. job in all the jams. Um, we'll get to the doors and stuff too. Bottom of the hood, the new insulation, that was all jammed properly. Um, nice uh, bright work as well, as far as the bumper, headlight, uh, chrome, all that's in really good shape. And Timmy buffed this out in that paint. Hopefully it comes through on the video um, as nice as it looks in person. It just looks, it's got a great shine. It looks soft almost, beautiful. Um, all the chrome bright work up front looks like that was redone at time of restoration. It's got a great shine, looks, looks brand new. GTO grill looks good. Hood gap from front to back, nice and even on both sides. I really love that parchment interior with, you know what I mean, with that red, raised white letter tires, great stance. Yeah, it's really good looking. And it already came in with American Racing torque thrust wheels on it. We didn't even have to add those. I like them, disc brakes on the front, really stops nice. Fender looks good, lines up well with the door. It's got that white GTO pinstripe that looks really nice. Rocker looks good. Do have a small little bubble right down here in the corner of the door. We got right here, is it? Oh, okay, just buff and cup onto the body when I see it. Comes right off there. Good. Yeah, nice paint, really. Yeah, that little tiny little spot right there might be a little, no, it's compound too. Compound too. But when you look at the door jams, you know, it just tells you how nice the, the paint job was when it was done. They took just as much time in the paint, painting the door jams as they did the exterior. Door panels look brand new. They also went ahead and did armrest bases. Um, the uh, dome lights all work in the back as well. Just a great interior on this one. Yeah, interior is very nice. And in the video, this white interior is going to kind of look a little bit yellow because of the sun, but definitely white as snow. Paint on the dash is nice, back seats are in good shape. On the top, we're gonna get a lot of people ask us about the top as well. The top's in great shape, you guys, and I love that they even with the boot and boot cover and stuff like that. Um, there's a picture of your rubbers. Uh, so the rubbers all look good. And uh, talk to your salesman, we'll get you some pictures with the top up. Uh, just give them, just ask them. As we look up and down the sides, as Dalton mentioned, um, very straight car. Lower quarter's good, back bumper's new. A couple little tiny little dings in that uh, chrome around the tail lights. Very small, but still shines well. They really did a nice job with the dual exhaust coming out the back. Trunk hood lines up good. Yeah, also they left the, uh, the little body line in here. They didn't uh, bondo that up, which a lot of people do. Looks great. The only thing I can say is just at the very corner of the door, and the corner of the door is perfectly rust free on the other side, but it just sticks out just a little bit. That's really the only body, like the line issue, mm -hmm. but hell, it's a 50 year old car. Yeah, everything you know? else lines up great. Really does. Good tire tread. This here is just the uh, same thing, it's just a little bit of buffing compound yet. One tiny little spot on this door too, just very, very, very minute. Other than that, the lower fender, rocker, all that looks great. As we open up the door, 
You see right here, it's never had any body filler or anything, but you can see just I had just that little bit of a swelling right there in that corner. Um, new felts, rubbers, top rubbers. Like Dalton mentioned, the door gem paint shines beautifully. Seat chrome's nice. Factory 242 GTO. Rubbers have been replaced around here as well. But the biggest thing with it is just the way it drives. I mean, it handles great. Let's see here, put this. Horn works. I'm freaking today when I when I got in to start it, and it had been started since last Thursday or Friday. Yeah. When I pulled it out of the showroom, hit the key once, didn't have to pump it, nothing fired right up. It's a good car. It really is. Um, we showed you the wipers work good. Mm -hmm. Got nice blades on them. Heater fan works, all speeds. These pump go over to off. We're going ahead and shut that off for today. Obviously, original radio is still intact. There, where's a radio right there? Yep. See it? Yep. We got a Sony radio in the glove box. Yep. Seek and source, it's off. And that works. Nice, huh? mm -hmm. Made this. Made hey, it sounds, seems like I have like a little well, sub under my seat. And you got, you got good sound. Yeah, I do. I got a little speaker under my seat. Yeah, I do. Nice. That's a good way to do it. You don't see that out very often. Are you overdue for a colonoscopy? Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Are you overdue for a colonoscopy? We don't want one of those. Uh -uh. I love it, dude. I love it. Anyway, I like how they left the original radio in there. Did it inside the glove box. It's very professional. Here's SD. This must be for your sub right here. Frequency. See it? Nice. You turn the volume of your sub down and everything. You must have a sub in your seat. Mm -hmm. It's Kenwood. Yeah, I can kind of feel it. Turn it up again. I turned it all the way up. I'm staff meteorologist Paul Frobley. Yeah. Nice. If there's one car, any car in our lot, you know, I would I would take right now and go to a show with, it'd be this one. It's sweet, isn't it? Yeah. And the steering, I, I'm guessing, I don't, I didn't look, but I'm guessing somebody must have replaced the steering sector because it is freaking tight. It handles great and the suspension feels really good, which we're all gonna show you here in a second. You can just tell somebody loved this thing, you know, and they went the extra mile with the, like I said, the steering and the brakes mm -hmm. and, and everything with it. Um, once Pat gets this thing, like I said, the tri-powers always come in, or six packs, they come in always needing a little bit yeah. of something. We got a guy that's really good at tuning them, he's coming in Wednesday to take, get it adjusted. But... Um, speedometer works great. See right there, just that little bit of hesitation, hesitation. before it kicks in, yeah. but we'll get that taken care of. Right, we're on our way back, now the GTO is warmed up, we want to show you the, the power. You know, I don't know if it even needs to tune on those tri-powers, it's running really well. Now you can hear the tri power setup open up. Pulse Look at this crap, dude. Steering's perfectly straight. Nice shift. That was 80 right there, dude. He's got a lot of power. He's got a ton. There's the tri power. Just wow! <laughs> That's dude, awesome. Dude, this rig at 90. That's crazy. That is crazy. Anyway, here's our brakes. Like I said, driving, brakes, suspension. And you can just tell when you just get behind it, like I did before yep. I even drove it, how tight the steering was. Yeah, we're it's having insane. No, yeah. It's a really nice car. Again, check it out on the site, pattyclassics.com. Somebody's gonna really enjoy this one. Taking care of, here's your brakes. I didn't really wanna wait till Wednesday till we got that done. We had it all cleaned. We were, you know, we might also get it on the road. Um, temperature gauge is up to about 160. Oil pressure is at 3540 right now. Go ahead and put it in a uh, park. We got another, we got great oil pressure again. Goes over 65, 70 pounds. And out the, out the. That's a good looking Chevelle. What a good job you got! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, well, especially on days like lucky, today. A lot of lucky uh, people that work here, including myself. My uh, gas gauge works too, D. Really nice shift. Yeah, it's just a power glide though. Oh there shit, we go. now we're talking. Good sound, good exhaust. That thing rolls, don't it? Yeah, it does. Look at this, that's 75. Now this is 75. Yeah. The last one we went, we were like, ah, oh, we're not quite going 75. The kick down still works. Or oh, there's your tripod right there, 82 mile an hour. There's 
We had to, we were hauling. We're definitely hauling, Big D. Sweet car, huh? Yeah, it is. Like everything um, about All of doing this, the suspension is, the suspension's perfect. Speedometer's not bouncing around. Dash is perfect on it. Dash pad is perfect, we didn't mention that. Um, just a quality car. You were right on taking this one to the show, D. Yeah, it's a nice one. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.